So a massive search is now underway for a missing university student from a gated community in Hanover. Hi again and welcome. This is Links of Low 7 TV. Let's talk. And we're about to discuss this on the program. If it's the first time you're watching, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with our latest report. We'll be right back with the full details to come. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. This is Link Sub Level 7 TV. Let's talk. So without no delay, let me just get straight into what we want to talk about. So when you see someone goes missing, it's one of two things. And I even don't want to even get into the details of that. But most of the time when people go missing, it could either end two ways. And you always have to hope for the best, but expect for the worst as well. So this situation that we want to talk about now will take us over to Hanover and this is a 27 year old female and she has been missing since Saturday. Now details surrounding the incident is a bit sketchy at this time. However, I'm trying my very best to compile as much information as possible in order to update you the general public as it relates to what transpired here. So, a massive surge is on the way at a gated community in Orchard Hopewell, Hanover for a 27-year-old university student who went missing on Saturday morning. Now, Saturday morning, this would have been Christmas morning when the family and friends would be getting together, gathering in order to celebrate the festive season of the Christmas period and one cannot even begin to imagine what the family of this 27-year-old missing university student is going through at this particular period of time. So missing is Shalene Evans, a university student of the West Indies from the community of Clifton in Hanover. So it is reported that she went missing shortly before 7 a.m. on Christmas morning. So it is also further reported that the young woman was reportedly visiting her child's father and this father lives in an area known as Orchard when she ran from the house. So this is where now the story is about to take the bizarre twist after this female ran from the house of her child's father. Now people are beginning to speculate and they are beginning to form their own assumption of what she might saw when she went inside that house. Many people are also stating whether or not the boyfriend had attacked her as well or whether or not some sort of conflict developed while she was at the premises. But it is further reported that the young woman had a last conversation with her biological father on the phone asking him to come get her. Where she was at this point in time when she was asking this, we are not sure. So she reportedly told her father that she was in a gully that had no water. But why would she be at that location in a gully that had no water? I'm wondering now if she went to that house and she saw something that drove fear in her and she decided to run away from that location. But I believe that the first point of information right now is that the police need to take the child's father into custody as he would have been the last person to would have seen this female alive. But we are still hoping for the best. We're not saying that anything has happened to her, but she must have seen something that led her to do such a thing in order to run away. So the search ended on Saturday night and resumed on Sunday with relatives and community members. So the police have also assisted with the search but report they received little support from the Orchard community. So this is said to be a gated community and a community in which a number of people reside. So the police have actually not theorized anything suspicious at this point in time even though it's still early days and they're still carrying out a massive investigation into this matter. But something went thoroughly wrong at this house and the police need to act swift 
and fast before something actually goes down if it has not happened already so if this female ran from the house and have not been seen from since what if the individual that she ran away from especially the baby father gave chase at her and somehow caught up with her as reported earlier she spoke with her father sometime after she ran from that house and she reportedly told her father that she was in a gully that had no water meaning that she might have been thirsty not sure whether or not that was a case but there was something that went down here prior to this happening and we're just hoping that the authorities does find a way of putting the missing pieces of this puzzle together so two days of searching and still the police have not yet found anything substantial in order to ascertain what really transpired to this 27 year old female and she's actually a university student so the search will resume this week and monday to be exact in which the police will be using other forms of resources in order to assist with the search so let me update you with the latest we have in relation to that so the search for the 27 year old university student who went missing in the gated community of orchard in hopewell hanover on christmas morning will resume at 5 a.m monday with the assistance of the k9 dogs from the jamaica constabulary force so the dogs now are going to be what the police are resorting to in order to assist with the search because up to the publication of this report the police have not yet found anything that can substantiate what really transpired to this female from christmas morning so the superintendent in charge of the hanover police division miss beput confirmed that the dogs will be used in search of miss evans a university of the west indies student from the community of clifton in hanover who reportedly went missing shortly after 7 a.m on saturday so despite the search by the police on saturday and sunday the search did not heal anything and the police will be continuing the search this morning in order to see how best they can ascertain the circumstances that surrounds the disappearance of this female but there have been many speculation and rumors going around about the whole entire situation and i don't really want to go and put my report based on speculation or what the community members are actually stating but according to a report from the father of the missing individual the father told media reporters that apart from an argument between his daughter and her mother there was nothing out of the ordinary that could raise red flag in her disappearance so that's the latest now we have in relation to this story but as the police carry out their investigation we are just hoping that they do put the missing piece of the puzzle together and the police and the K9 unit will resume in the search this morning but the fact that she ran away from the house of her child's father that still is a red flag for me and i believe that the police will be conducting a series of searches in the area especially in the area that are might be closely to where she went missing and also might be extend the search further out if she's not found in the short order so the dogs will be brought into play this morning in order to assist the search and as you know the police have been utilizing different resources from saturday in order to aid within the search of this missing 27 year old female of the university of the west indies but it's still unclear what transpired here and even though the community members are still hoping for the best some do have the fear of fearing for the worst within them as well and that is quite evident based on how people are actually talking about the situation and what is being stipulated are actually being assumed by residents in that area so the era is said to be a quiet and calm era a residential era gated era so the female could not have gone far from the area so they have just conducted a series of search in this particular location and the police believe as if if they don't find anything in the short order they will extend the search outward but the fact that the female made a phone call to her father to get her 
from the riverbed why was she at that location at a particular time why she did not went back home after she ran from the house of her child's father but the father of the female have also stated that the daughter told him over the phone that she was not loved and this might be another situation that really needs to be looked into whether or not she ran away of her own free will or whether or not something had happened to her while she ran away so the father told reporters that after she made the phone call to her father implying that she believed as if she was not loved by the family so she then told the father that the father needed to come and get her and up to the publication of this report she has not been seen or heard from since so it seemed as if there was some issues at the home before she ran off and might this be a case where she does believe that she needed some time away from the house however it has been two days and the residents and the family members are becoming worried about her health and her well-being and the state that she might be in at the time that she went missing however we'll continue to track this story and provide with any more information to comment this this has been links below 7 tv let's talk peace out and bless